Everything about me was created in FreePick. So FreePick does it again with a brand new update. Wait, what? And based off of those AI avatars, can you guess what the new update is? Oh, and what do you think about my new glasses? Too much? And that is that lip sync AI video is now available in FreePick. Hey you, guess what? Everything about me was created in FreePick. And why I love this one the best, you can use the lip sync feature with any of the AI video models. But I still think this needs a little improvement. But I also want to show you a second update that came out shortly thereafter. Now, take a look at this one right here. Now we have an AI sound effect generator. Describe your sound, pick a variation, and hit the download button. And now you're going to be able to get an amazing sound effect all done with the power of AI. Okay, so here we are over here in free pick right now I'm in the images section because the first thing I want to do is let's go ahead and start completely from scratch and just go ahead and create a pretty good looking image and specifically let's find one for an AI influencer and then generate a lip sync video and we have a brand new database that just came out that way you can generate AI influencers like me. Now this database contains nothing but amazing prompts that will create some amazing looking AI influencer images. Now one of my favorite new styles are images that look like this right here. So what I'm gonna do is with this prompt opened up, you can see sort of what the images are gonna look like. I'm gonna come in here and copy this prompt just like this, okay? The other thing I can do is come over here into my prompt generator and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt right here. And then I'll head over in the chat GPT, paste it in just like this, let it work through all of its thinking. And now I'm going to provide it with a specific style. And now for this one, I could basically say a specific ethnicity or a style. Now for this one, I'll just say Asian, 24 years old woman, and then editorial style. And then I'll get a ton of different prompts. And so we'll try a prompt from that specific generator. And then I also want to go ahead and try this one specifically as well. And so for this one, I'll do mystic 2.5 and Let's do vertical since we're going to be doing AI influencers, okay? I'll also do it utilizing Flux 1.1 as well. Okay. If I go back over here to my prompt generator, let's look at all of the different prompts that we got. Look at all of these amazing looking variations from this specific prompt generator. If you like any of them, just go ahead and copy a few of them and now paste these in over here in the free pick, just like this. Now, while we're waiting, look at what we just got over here in Flux. Amazing job with this first one. I think these are going to work perfectly. They're going to do very well because she's looking into the camera and I can clearly see her face. Now, when it comes to Mystic, this looks amazing as well. And I have a lot of different variations I can choose from. And when it comes to my generator, look at what I got right here with my influencer of Asian descent. So for an example, let's say we want to utilize this image right here. The first thing we need to do is create a video. So that's the first step because you can only create the lip syncing if you have a video created or generated first in free pick. So let's go ahead and first create a video of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and select Kling 1.61 Pro. I'll also just to cover my basis to make sure I get a good looking video. I'll also do it utilizing Runway Gen 3. Now while these are thinking, let's go ahead and try the process ourselves with a video I already have selected. However, the Runway one is already done. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this one up and see how good of a job this is. Okay, that looks pretty fantastic for Runway. Now, one key mistake I did make was it does look good in Runway. However, I didn't make sure my aspect ratio matched what my specific image was. So now I need to go ahead and do it again and make sure I have 916 selected. Now with that said, let's go ahead and pick an existing video. Okay. Now this video did a pretty good job. Check this out right here. I'm very happy with these results utilizing Kling 1.6. Okay. So here is this video right here. Now notice the option that says reuse doesn't populate on these videos. In order to find lip sync, what you need to do is click these three dots up here in the top right hand corner. Once it's opened, here are going to be our new updates. We have lip sync right here. And now we also have the sound effect one, which we're going to try next. Let's go ahead and select apply lip sync. Now, this is really cool. On the left hand side, we have three options. We have from text, 
we have upload where we can upload our own voice and we have record and in record you can actually record your very own voice for this one we're going to go with just from text now all you have to do is just type in your actual script but first we need to choose a voice if i select all languages look at this multiple languages that we have to choose from and now you can go ahead and select your specific person you want to generate the voice for and then here is my script let's go ahead and now select apply lip sync you can also preview it but notice it will consume a small amount of tokens now while this is thinking let's x out of here and see how our other videos turned out look how good this actually did beautifully done okay now click on the three dots in this specific video and now for this one select apply lip sync here okay. now both are done the whole process took 60 to 90 seconds let's take a look and see at how good these turned out check the links in the description for amazing prompts but i still think this needs a little improvement now with that said let's come down here and filter it again and find a brand new video to use okay now i'm going to come down here and i'm going to hover over this king right here select the three dots and now select apply sound effects and now just simply type in the kind of sound effect that you want all i said was a powerful sound of thunder it really is that simple apply sound effect it does a great job doing anything that you need and then there we have it it's generating down here in the bottom you could see the process this did a great job All right, so there you have it. Another amazing update and free pick. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. How good of a job does Lip Sync do here in comparison to other tools you may have used? Thank you so much for watching this video and please remember, hit that subscribe button. Until then, we'll see you next time.